I just came up with this too, my own, my own little ideas. You know, although every career field has its unique challenges and temptations, each will also have unique opportunities for men and women of God to be and to share the good news, the gospel. So, you know, in business, uh, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. You know, focusing on serving and loving your customers and employees. You're, do, you're doing loving things because you're meeting their needs. And you have to have a strong emphasis on excellence, you know, making good stuff that, uh, you know, won't fall apart. You're not going to cheat these people, right? Product quality and ethics and just, you know, do the right thing. In the classroom, and my wife spends a lot of time, as, as does our son and our daughter, um, you know, they know the worth of the individual because God, you know, created us, made in God's image. Realize the education of the mind alone does not change a heart. Knowledge of the truth will set us free. Um, and, you know, a teacher going in the classroom with compassion for the students and not just getting through the lesson, but really reaching a student and really, you know, going out of your way to meet those needs, whether it be brushing someone's hair who come in kind of unkempt in the morning or, you know, uh, working with a, a student in, in, in theater like our son does and you know, helping them just be more confident and, and just giving them an opportunity to, to shine and to grow. Um, those, those are the kind of things as they do that, you know, uh, God can meet those needs there. In the arts, we've got a, another son who's an actor, you know, and we know the creator who brings, uh, the, uh, you bring the good news with a balance of insights on darkness and hope. And we see a lot of, you know, in entertainment, a lot of darkness. But if you can put, uh, you know, some re elements of redemption in your stories and in your art and, and music and so forth, that will um, allow you to, again, pierce the darkness a little bit. Medicine, you know the great position, um, uh, that the healing of the mind, body, and soul is found in Christ, um, and not just in medicine. And of course, engineering, I had to say the best for last, right? Um, you know the designer, you can bring creative, creative solutions to sustain life and bring hope. And that's really what you're doing, that's the big picture. I found out there's a, you may never have heard of this organization, there's actually a Christian Engineering Society. You can probably Google that and find it. Um, and, and it was mentioned in this book that I read, uh, Kingdom Calling, which I've mentioned before. Um, and she found this great little quote uh, from, their, from their website. Engineers fulfill a special place within God's creation mandate. Again, referring to Genesis 128. There are few professions whose purpose is more directly involved in subduing creation for the benefit of mankind than engineering. The engineering profession is everywhere concerned with making the world a little better for mankind while extracting and making use of its resources to produce great benefits for people everywhere. Do I hear an amen? Okay. All you engineers there. I think that's cool. I, when you think about it, work in this way, it really broadens your mind and really uh, it helps you understand the whole point of, of this whole thing is, you know, God is not just present in the ministers and the missionaries and the full-time quote-unquote Christian workers. He is present with us in our secular workplaces and I hope you all get an idea that God, we don't just go and, and, and find a job and go here and go there. God sends us. It's all about God sending. Why? Because, not because I've, you know, I, I read that chapter and verse in the Bible, but I know that God is sovereign. He's in control. And everywhere that I've ever been, even here now, God has sovereignly worked things out for his purposes and for, for my benefit. Um, and so God will do the same with every single believer. And believe it or not, he's sovereign. He's even control of the non-believers and, and has them in the right place at the right time, maybe so that you can meet them down the road and, and minister to them. So even the people that are hard to work with, those thorns and thistles, the bosses, maybe you're, maybe you're at that job to minister to them. You know, so I mean, God is always in control. And that's the whole point. Um, God sends us into these places. Um, so that was a little aside. I went off the script a little bit, which is good. Um, in, in Nelson in Work Matters observes also, uh, as God's redeemed people, we're called to live, I love this, ordinary lives in ordinary places as bold and credible witnesses of the transforming power of the gospel. So I hope this is encouraging to you and see how God can you know, use you in your secular profession, um, which is sacred. If, if it's doing it for God's glory. So God's going to make a difference in every institution where, where he sends us. All right. 